after our victories at King's Landing, traitors and enemies of the crown still roam the lands of Westeros. Tywin Lannister besieges us in the crown lands and must be dealt with and sent back to the Westerlands once and for all, where we can pin him in place, raid his castles, burn down Casterly Rock and execute him for the traitor he is is for we have no time left the night king amasses in the north a legion of whites roaming killing and burning the people for we must do this to survive the long night and bring about a brand new dawn hey how's it going guys welcome back to another house of the dragon let's play as we are playing as daenerys targaryen and we have a pretty exciting battle to kick us off with we have tywin lannister pinned in as he besieges dragon uh, dries den sorry i believe he's actually currently attacking it as well so this is the perfect time to dive in we have very similar numbers and so it's going to be a, a very very close battle but in the last episode we were able to actually take king's landing which is great whilst we were doing that though we did unfortunately lose a bunch of our territory in the north we're gonna have to basically just blitz down this line i'll probably do this off camera after this battle uh, and then yeah then the goal is just to push in and, and go take castle rock and lannisport and just deal with the lannisters once and for all any lannister i do capture i am going to execute because you know why not i think it's all part of the parcel and then and then i think we just move north i then i think we go up north we we take on the night king in the next episode uh, so that's probably gonna be the final Final episode next time um but for now it is our war against tywin lannister so let's move him and let's hit him hopefully before the city falls because yeah he is attacking it right now um so let's move in they are also sieging king's landing we can get back there plenty of time so yeah this could be a close battle tywin lannister we've got joffrey baratheon here kevin lannister who else have we got here we got jamie maybe no we haven't got jamie we've got some braxes in here some breadfords Okay, well, if we capture Joffrey or Tywin, their heads are being sliced clean off. It's going to be a hard battle, though. This is Tywin's army, so it is going to be fairly elite. It's going to have the quality that, uh, you know, is deemed of Tywin. But again, our army is so seasoned. We have been in battles and battles for pretty much the past, uh, you know, the past, uh, I guess, 10 years in game. So it's definitely been a long time and i think today we're gonna to do something a little bit of fun with our formations so this battle is going to be heavily dominated by the cavalry i think both sides the majority of our forces are going to be heavy knights i have a ton uh, tywin has a ton so it's going to come down to the clashes of the horses however i think the best situation is i've blocked my infantry into two blobs of squares i'm going to stick my archers just behind them so the archers are up on this hill and should hopefully i can even push them a bit further back maybe uh can hopefully just fire in oh no that's probably a bit too far back yeah i think just on this hill is fine uh we'll stick them like there so what i'm hoping will happen is as the cavalry charges in they're gonna get stuck on here and as they get stuck on my two squares my archers will just pound into them and slaughter them i'm also going to stick my cavalry into a tight little shield wall and it might sound a bit counterproductive but it does actually do much better when your cavalry is in shield wall uh, i've seen a video strat uh yeah strat gaming has done some really good videos on it and just why it's so much better um and i've also uh, been told this in streams as well putting your cavalry into a tight formation is very very good um because it just means that they get more strikes off and they can just do more damage um so yeah i've got aegon leading the cavalry i've got Sithus, i think leading some of the infantry and other blocks like that again the ai will probably stand back and be a little bit patient so i'm gonna take my uh take my horse archers and we are going to move forward a bit with the horse archers uh just kind of harass the enemy a little bit uh but yeah as you can see they have 400 knights so they currently outnumber our our knight production pretty heavily but you can see there's a lot of arrow fire coming in right now we, we are hitting them hard i'm also going to be playing the battle uh, on this mode right here because i really really have been digging this massively i'm not sure if it's something you guys are you guys enjoy as well but i love not knowing how the battle's going you know it just feels really really cool to kind of have that i am going to push my squares up a little bit more though because i want them i want their cavalry to like implode on my archers first that is a scary formation, though, isn't it? That is a very, very scary formation. Okay, cavalry. Left flank charge. And then what we'll do is I'll send the right flank to charge as well. Here they come. Oh, that's a big one. King's Guard right there. Oh, my God. This is crazy. There are so much 
Cavalry. Oh, my God. Is our formation working? Not massively. Okay, not massively at all. Okay, we needed more infantry, I think, for that to work. Yeah, I think we desperately needed more infantry for that to work. Their cavalry is ripped through our formation right there. Okay, not good, not good, not good. Do we reform? Because all their archers are now behind us, right? Okay, maybe my bowman? Yeah, maybe we take our bowman and we stick it here. Okay, the infantry has now hit us. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we do. I mean, our infantry should be fine to kill theirs. Oh, go, 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 go. Let's not get hit by that. Okay, block that, block that, block that. Okay, I think we have to try and bring our uh, line out a little bit. Because our infantry should be fine. It's just their next cavalry charge is going to be a little bit scary, right? And here it comes. Speaking of it. There you go. It's a little bit more down. Anyone else we can we can bring out will be great. I mean, our cavalry is obviously fighting, and they are in shield wall, so they should be quite effective. And like when when their cavalry lines do smash in here, like their cavalry should die as they get they get wedged in on our square. I just think we maybe need more infantry to make this work as effectively as I wanted it to. Okay, so I've brought my infantry blocks over to one another to try and just create a bit more of a denser block. And I'm also just going to send my cavalry over to deal with their archers. Uh, so all my cavalry will deal with that. And we just have to hope we can survive these onslaughts of charges. I'm not sure if it's going to be a better idea to try my best to uh, form a shield wall maybe. Or even combine my uh, my cavalry together. And just try, try and get in the way as much as possible. Because as you can see, this is a close battle as we expected. All my cavalry is going to go after their archers now. And I just have to hope but we can just block them off. Again, it might be a better idea just to make one big square because the denser that square is, the more we're hitting them and the more, more we're like pinning them in place as, as we go. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's just basically push these guys on top of each other. As I said, our cavalry should be doing a good job against their archer line uh, that is now uh, pushing up. Just try and kill a... Oh, I killed a lord right there. Okay, that's going to help us out morale-wise. This is going to be a close battle though. Um, yeah, definitely a close battle for sure. And it's just whether or not we're, I mean, their cavalry is going to be a pain to kill. That's the problem. They have so many archers as well. But we have that infantry. And the infantry will be a big help. Especially if these crossbows are like out of ammo right now. Which I think they are getting close to. So if I can just like kill as many of these guys as possible. Then that would be great honestly. We need to be careful though. And their cavalry is down to 157. So a lot of their numbers left are just... Uh, uh, archers now. So we can use that to our advantage and our cavalry is running amok. And now as they come back in, yeah, they're going to be hard pressed. I haven't seen Tywin on the battlefield though. I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, just basically cutting him down. Who is this? Aegon Blackfire? What are you doing, my friend? Uh, maybe just get there or maybe just charge that shit. Aegon, you go in. Just do me proud, my friend. Do me proud. If we're down to 141 cavalry, we're down to barely any as well. I don't see how we're not killing more of their archers, though, considering we literally have them surrounded. But hey, yeah, cavalry just suck in this game. It really does. Cavalry, like, sucks until it doesn't suck, I feel. Sorry, no, I'm not doing that. I'm complaining. And someone someone pointed out in the last episode that I complained too much. Oh, I almost just got slaughtered there. Um, I complained too much. And I'm not going to complain. Besides that one bit of complaint right there, this episode is going to be fully... I'm not going to complain once during this entire episode. And that's a promise until I break it in about two seconds. I would dealt with their... We've now dealt with their archers. They have like two horses left. So I think we've got this battle, but literally by the skin of our teeth. Uh, they've still got a fair amount of cavalry left. Um, yeah, 75 horses left. So I'm going to pull back all my horses now. And as they come in for their final charge, I'm going to make basically a counter offensive. And we're just going to, we're going to basically try and pin them down here as they come. So I'm going to select everybody in a second and charge now. So even our, even our infantry squares are going to charge to basically just go more aggressive. And hopefully this will be enough to finish them off now. Because there's not many of them left. There's not many of us left. But this should basically see us uh, through. And once we take out Tywin's army here, uh, we should be good. Because I can't imagine they have much at King's Landing, uh, which are sieging us. Because I didn't really leave much of a garrison there. And we should just be able to go back and do it. So yeah, uh, a good victory against Tywin. Our, our, our kind of custom formation didn't really work out as well as I, I wanted it to. It did decently. Um, but yeah, it would have been nicer maybe if we managed to uh, actually... Uh, yeah, maybe it would have been nicer if we actually managed to... 
uh, like pin the cavalry down. I just didn't have enough infantry, I don't think. But next time, next time I can maybe get a bit more in the army and that will help us out a bit more. Boom, there you go. Victory as ours. We'll take some Dragonstone Household Guard as our companions because it'll be kind of cool to have some varied soldiers in the ranks of the Queen's Guard. And how, how do we do right there? Yeah, overall, not bad. Let me just get back on the battlefield so we can see. Um, yeah, overall, not bad. I think, you know, I honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a god queen right there. Uh, I'll be interested to see if we manage to actually capture. So Joffrey did get wounded, and I imagine Tywin also got wounded, yeah. We didn't kill them. I don't know if we're going to capture them. We'll obviously have to find out. Um, hopefully we did, though, because if we did, we know, oh, no, you're not who I wanted. I mean, of course, you are my prisoner. Stafford Lannister, I did say I would execute every single... Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we did it! We captured him! Okay, this is perfect. Now just give me Tywin. Give me Tywin. Oh, how do we not get him? That sucks. Okay, we'll take everybody prisoner we can. Uh, nobody leveled up? My god, okay. Okay, well, we, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. We managed to conquer the boy child himself, uh, the pretender to the throne. Uh, you know, you, you guys already know what's about to happen. You guys already know what's about to happen. Do you want to execute Joffrey Baratheon? Uh, I mean, I feel like I, I do want to execute Joffrey Baratheon. <laughs> Boom. It's a real shame it doesn't, it, there's like more things for this. Like you could turn on like a gore mode or someone to make it uh, a bit more brutal. There we go. Joffrey Baratheon killed. And I mean, Stafford Baratheon, I mean, Stafford Lannister, you are cursed by, you know, by being a Lannister. So unfortunately... There you go. The Braxes and the Westerlings, they, they can go free. I have no quarrel with them whatsoever. But hey, we've killed the Pretender, uh, which is fine. I think I think everybody, uh, you know, we want that to happen. And again, if you guys are enjoying this series, be sure to go ahead and drop a like. If you enjoyed me destroying Joffrey Baratheon uh, like that, executing him in the name of justice, then make sure you drop a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Drop a like for executing Joffrey Baratheon. So now we have to rush back to King's Landing, stop this siege from happening. These notifications are going to be going on for about a year as well. So hopefully by the time I'm there, they'll be done. Then what we need to do is we need to come back. I need to take these uh, Rook's Rest and also this back as well, which I'll do off camera. Then probably taking Dustin Dale and Rosby, uh, which is going to be pretty important. Secure our land here. Then we could even go to the Fellswood, uh, and then uh, Harren Hall is going to be important to take. And then just pushing into the Lannis ports and taking that out. Oh my god, it is finally stopped. When I say it's been going for literally about five minutes, it has been going for five minutes. I'm not joking. That is crazy. So this should be a pretty easy battle. Why haven't the other armies um, been brought in? Okay, they have now. I'm wounded, so I can't fight this anyway, but we massively outnumber them. There's no need to do it. We lost 100 soldiers. I will take them for an author resolve. Uh, and I'll take, of course, all the other people prisoners as much as we can. Um, and then we will, uh, yeah, take up the prisoners and recruit anybody we can. We're over our prisoner limit, which is fine. We'll, of course, take this and let the rest of experience go. And then move into King's Land to sell our prisoners and everything else. One of the really nice things, actually, in 1.8. So this should actually happen. I'm on 1.8.1, so we should actually be able to show this. If I go to my dungeon and I go to my managed prisoners and I send all my prisoners over. So, yeah. This is the, the brand new thing that they added in the latest patch. So basically, I'm over my limit by 294 soldiers or my prisoners over by that much. So if I click done, it should sell them. It didn't sell them. Okay, ignore me. Apparently, it was supposed to sell them, but I guess maybe not. Yeah, I guess maybe because it's a, it's a one point, it's not a one point eight point one save. That could definitely work. Anyway, who cares? Uh, yeah, boom. So we've taken back. We've obviously relieved the defense of King's Landing. I'll probably actually leave a bit more of a garrison here as well. So if we go to the garrison, um, and I actually probably should leave some uh, some soldiers. Uh, uh, we actually have some Lannister soldiers, so I'll probably uh, leave them there, and then we'll just leave some of our lower tier men. Uh, not that we really have any. Yeah, look at that. I mean, Lannister levies can stay there. Mercenary guard. Um, basically, just enough to keep these guys going for a little while. Maybe live some Dragonstone Bowmen. I mean, we just have so much cavalry. Uh, and I guess we'll leave some of the horse archers as well. Because actually, pre oh my god, we have so many Khan's Guard. No, don't leave any of the Do Dothraki Bowmen. Don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, keep all the Dothraki for sure. 
definitely. Uh, and then we'll give up, I guess, some of them, some of these guys. Yeah, Queen's men, sure. Oh, I mean, there's just so many good men. I don't want to give up. I don't give up any of these. Yeah, we'll leave these. These will be some good defenders. And I should basically just like, uh, buy them enough time to stay up and stay firm. Cool. So now what we'll do is we'll take the rest of the land in the north. And I'll probably fight over Duskendale or Rosby. Okay, I think we're ready to assault Duskendale now. I have taken back the two settlements in the north now. So that should make our lives a little bit more secure there. Again, back, just basically waiting for the garrisons and stuff to fill up there. Taking Duskendale and then Rosby will be important. Um, because that will basically just fortify our control in the crown lands. Oh my god, look at the mist. I love the, uh, the, the extreme weather uh, mod as well. It just looks so awesome. It really does just create such atmosphere. Like imagine marching towards the city walls when you can't even see the city walls. I'm not really sure who else this favors here. It favors us or if it favors um, the, the defenders. I mean, probably us, right? Because they don't know that we're getting closer and closer to the walls. Unfortunately, this doesn't actually affect their visibility. That would be really cool. It does, how affect, uh, however, affect the um, the RBM posture system. You can see down in the bottom right-hand corner. In oh my god, the artillery! <gasps> my god, that was close. Um, but yeah, so it does actually affect that posture system, which is really cool. If you're in heavy snow, the posture does drain way quicker. Oh my god, that is awesome. Man, sometimes these battles can be so cinematic as we march forward. Okay, we need to take a little bit of cover. Continue to push up the artillery. We're just in one big infantry block, which is not the smartest idea, but I think it will be, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine as soon as, oh my god, that's gonna hurt. So many people really just died, yeah. It's fine. Some of you shall die, but it is a sacrifice I, as Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons, is willing to make. That's unfortunate, though. Losing the ram is not good. Look at all the infantry up there as well. Okay, okay. We need to get these artillery pieces to the wall ASAP. Not only do we need to get up here, we need to get them artillery pieces off uh, line as quickly as possible. It's going to be a bit of a hard fight, though. There are a lot of Lannisters on this wall, uh, but we need to start carving as best as we can. I think I might change my weapon after this as well. I think I might like upgrade to like ice or something. Cause we can just use the cheat menu to get some cool weapons. And I think using that or maybe even Dawn could be a, a cool idea just to upgrade it. We could even suggest cause the North is actually the only faction that hasn't actually declared war on me. So we could say that maybe they gave me their ancestral sword to, uh, to show their loyalty and just have Daenerys. Okay, unfortunately, this battle just kept on crashing. And normally, I would edit that out and just move on and just pretend like we've auto it and just auto-resolve it. However, uh, you know, that, that beginning of the battle was so atmospheric and awesome, I just had to kind of leave it in. But unfortunately, the longer these campaigns do go on, I have like 50 mods installed. You're going to run into some settlements that just will not work. And Duskendale seemingly is one of them. Uh, but yeah, with that being conquered, we have now conquered the uh, basically the entire hoof right here, the entire leg of Westeros. Uh, of course, when, uh, Rosby is going to be an important piece of the crown lands. But I think what we're going to do is we're basically going to move down, take Rosby. We could also go to Fellwoods as well. That'd be another pretty strategic castle in the south. Um, and then maybe move up. So yeah, maybe what we'll do then, because we of course didn't get the battle last time, I'm going to move into Rosby and we're going to siege it and we're going to fight that one out because I think that'll be a fun battle to fight. Um, they're actually already sieging Dusk and Tail as well. What the hell? Ow. It's like, oh, it's actually a fairly large army. Okay, we can fight this. I'm going to wait until daytime though because fighting nighttime battles can be a bit ratty unless you have like the torches mob. So let's fight this one, then let's move to Rosby, then I'll probably take Felwood off camera, and then we'll go to Harrenhal, we'll fight that, and then we'll dive in. Oh, I like this map as well, very nice. I love being pushed up against the edge, so we can just, there's only one way forward. Okay, and we're going to go with the old famous Jackie Fish formation for sure. We're going to go a nice little thick line right there, we're going to go for a nice line like that. Archers right here in this formation and I'm gonna push all my cavalry to one side I think yeah, I think all my cavalry to one side and we have a lot of horse archers as well uh, Which can just sit back here. Let's do that. They have Actually not that much cavalry this time, which is great for us and it was as always we want to really try and uh, Force them in so yeah, we want to really try and like force them into this if we can uh, Okay, they're actually just going all after my cavalry. Okay, boys 
Just just go deal with them, then we'll use the RTS camera. Let's push up our uh, our infantry blocks and we'll get our archers up on this hill. I really like doing like formations like this. And this is something I think I'm always gonna try and do from now on in my series. Just try to have like fun with our formations because I feel like you know you can just F1 F3 uh, and that's fine and all, but yeah, you know, there's no reason not to. I'm I'm a pro gamer, you know. I'm a pro gamer, so it's only right that I try and have some fun with it because you know I can I can still win uh, without much issue. Oh god damn! Look at that. God damn! It looks beautiful. Cool. Let's push our. Okay, now that we've basically dealt with their uh, horses, let's push our cavalry around here now. I mean, I want to slam into them as we move forward. Okay, here we go. I'm basically just commanding the battle from a bird's eye view now. The infantry's block's coming up. I don't really know why my arch is moving forward. Arch should stay there. You guys push him there. This line can chill. And then the cavalry can come crashing in. Yeah, then the cavalry can come crashing in here now. So we'll flip these guys around. We should see this cavalry hitting right into the back of our archers. Their infantry are now engaging. So we'll charge them in. And then as they're doing that, we'll wheel around this infantry block right here. So we'll wheel that around. The cavalry are now moving in. And as that cavalry smashes through, we'll then tell them to charge here as well. So now we'll wrap around there and charge into the infantry block. Perfect. As the other cavalry hits into their archers. Oh my god. This is some high level octane gameplay right here. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was really nice. And I think this is something you kind of have to do. Uh, in Battle Lord, if you really want to take your tactics to the next level, is like do stuff like that. You have to lean into the AI because let's be honest, I just charged. Oh, okay, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I was just about to complain there, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to finish that sentence. But yeah, sometimes you just got to kind of move in and uh, utilize that because the cavalry doesn't kill as many, and that's not a complaint, that's just an observation. The cavalry doesn't kill as many archers, so just using them as they follow through that charge to then charge into something else and kind of cycle that, I think is a really, really strong tactic. And yeah, I mean, we, we slaughtered that battle. That was not even close. We brought too many men to the battlefield, uh, but they didn't really stand a chance. Yeah, they give a green. Um, how are kill-wise? Any, any of our companions getting some good kills? Edward got a kill. Otto got some experience. Paul and Ramsey did okay. Sifis. Sifis is always gradually getting kills as well, which is nice. And there you go. The battle is uh, battle is one. They have like 16 men left, so uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, Nor are we expecting this to really be a scary battle at all. So right now, my court really, really wants to make peace with the Westerlands. I'm basically just pushing it and ignoring it and pretending like they haven't suggested we make peace with the Westerlands because I want to take this, I want to take Bellwoods, I want to take Harrenhal at least before this war ends and we can basically have a breath of fresh air because we've been at war for so long right now um, that we are going to struggle. Let's go ahead and put Otto in command of the infantry. Do me proud, good sir. And let's push on. We have ladders in this settlement so this is going to be a, a blitz to the, the walls and hopefully we can use the fog as cover as we, we move up but yeah i don't want this war to end and hopefully we have enough influence to stop it if it does end though it's not the end of the world because i can look to maybe expand elsewhere like going into the riverlands might not be a bad idea honestly like that could be really really valuable to go into the riverlands and start just making our way north you also have to be cautious to see if anybody does have alliances or anything as well. Uh, that's going to be something that we're going to be a little bit cautious of. I think in future Let's Plays as well, I'm going to make it way easier to form alliances. It's just it's a little bit scary to do that because then everybody forms an alliance. But I think when there's this many factions, you can start to do that. Um, so yeah, I think reducing the cost of like alliances down to like 50 instead of 100. Uh, oh god, it's not actually a bad idea. Okay, let's just slice this archer's head off really quickly. And then, oh my god, I got a sent fly. Okay, this is what we're talking about. Oh yeah, and as well, as I was mentioning in the last battle as well, before we were rudely crashed, uh, I might actually just go ahead and grab ice or something. I think that could be quite funny uh, to uh, to grab ice. Okay, just do some up defenses and then slice this guy. What is this guy doing? There we go. Okay, we're just going to get up Benham and make it to the allied units right here. Oh god, oh, oh god, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. It's luckily a short drop. But yeah, I think we might just use like Ice or Dawn or something. Dawn could be quite appropriate, obviously. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for the final episode of this series where we go fight the Night King. I have some cool stuff planned for that. Um, 
and uh yeah next episode should be pretty pretty exciting next episode might not be the last one depending on how much basically the goal for this uh series is i want to uh basically yeah burn castle rock to the ground i want to uh execute tywin lannister so we will keep on going until tywin lannister is dead whether it's through old age or by my dragons we've already killed joffrey which is good probably probably murder cersei as well if we can find her and uh yeah and then then we march beyond the wall maybe we go and take over the the night's watch as well and of course if we run into any other wars as well whilst we're here we can also deal deal with them you know it doesn't necessarily just have to be them battles but i think that sounds like for like a good plan and it should oh my god it's so dark in here i'm so sorry you guys cannot see a thing it should run pretty nicely with the uh, the end of the series uh because house of, house of a dragon is going to be ending soon unfortunately it's been awesome so far and then we'll have to think about what you guys want to see next on the channel because I, I really have been enjoying doing these like long format campaigns and you guys have received these really well so yeah maybe in the comments give me some ideas for stuff we can do next there's some really cool mods coming out uh we only have a set amount of days though until um uh until battle lord officially releases so maybe we'll hold off there until uh until that comes out until we actually start something but i, I really do want to maybe look into uh there's some like amazing mods i want to maybe do a series with caradia faction enhanced which is basically like a, a vanilla campaign but it's, it's just like massively improved so it's caradia but everything is just a million times better uh the mod has done a great job of just enhancing the vanilla campaign and then maybe combine that with like banner kings uh, i think that'd be such a fun series um because it would just be so complicated and so many awesome things um and take that a bit more like try hard i think could be really good um yeah really really good whereas this campaign has been quite easy because we haven't had to start from anything we've basically just been a, a super powerful character the entire way through you know had our empire and everything so it could be quite fun to see uh you know us from the beginning oh my god i just snapped my ankles but yeah let me know what you guys think about it down below in the in the comments i'd be interested to see um and we just yeet this rock yeah no way okay i'm actually so sad as well that they destroyed how powerful stones were stones used to do so much damage and now they basically just kill like one guy they used to like do so much damage to like everyone around them but yeah they really really nerfed them luckily we've been able to get round the back and i need to get start getting some two-handed skill i think because i think the only way to kill the night king is going to be with a big two-handed weapon and just basically try and two-shot him before he kills me because yeah he's going to be very scary to uh to take down uh, but here we go the settlement has been taken this is rosby under our command are you friend or foe it's always hard to tell we have a lot of lannis soldiers in our army yeah friendly there you go the gate is going to be under our control and we got some king's guard here as well nice uh open the gate please open the gate get it open but yeah boom that's another settlement taken awesome oh this is actually really good because our army has been reduced pretty hectically and now we've got 41 soldiers we can recruit from uh, i guess them being imprisoned which is actually perfect for us because that's uh, that's gonna boost up our numbers a little bit because we are still like looking to campaign we're not looking to end this war even though my council really really wants to um but hey who listens to the council not me uh it might also oh, can we say no 900 infants we have to make peace here oh that's fine god damn feared fat vadius god damn fool we don't have enough influence we're just sure okay that's fine though you know that's not the end of a world we've taken rosby um and we own the crown lands that's fine for now so and i, I can just declare war on them again i think which i think i might do quite quickly um again that's really good for us uh we've taken a lot of territories made and pool owned by the riverlands maybe a war against the riverlands could be ideal just like a quick war to take like maiden pool dairy salt pans um and maybe even is this riverlands or is this westerlands this is the reach god damn uh yeah maybe that'll be our goal is just a quick war against the riverlands like taking these four settlements uh and then yeah then that way we can then like kind of secure this area get ready to push into the, the land port in our next war so i'm gonna give some people some time and i think also we're gonna give rooks rest to someone who has been a loyal loyal companion has he enough influence and we have enough money 
Uh, let's think. I mean, Fazza has been pretty good. He's preparing for the long night. But I, the thing is, I, what I want to do for the final battle against the Night King is I want to select all my all my companions and I want to fight the Night King with everybody. So it's just a big old brawl. And uh, yeah, to have that happen, uh, we're going to need some people here. So let's look. Uh, Ramsey, Sam, these are new people. Hang on, the Silent could be cool. Yeah, he, he's been in our in our companionship for a while. Edwin Sand as well. He's a Kingsguard, so he kind of needs to be quite near us. Sephus, yeah, Sephus has been with us a long time. So let's maybe upgrade him. Let's maybe give him his own Lordship. Um, let's do it. So how is it going, my friend? I want to reward you for your services. I want to give you to give him king's landing uh no i want to give him uh dry as den right yeah that's the one right i am pleased to do that there you go boom and uh you'll be the cool the cool because when i call the banners he comes boom nice we have a brand new house no it's rook's rest fuck what did i just give him i just gave him something else right oh dry as den i gave him this that's fine do i still own rook's rest then didn't realize i did it didn't pop up in the list, but maybe it's because I own too many. That's fine. We can even make someone else a companion, maybe, if we wanted to. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do now, we are at peace. We actually, for once, aren't at war, um, which is fine. So everybody can go off and now recruit soldiers. We desperately need it. Uh, and they want to give out Rosby, which is fine. And the good thing is, as well, is our non-aggression packs are running out, which is awesome. Uh, it really is awesome. It might not sound as awesome, uh, but it is because what that means is we can now start getting the negative modifiers uh, for having the aggression packs away from all of these, uh, all of these alliances and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you can see like a lot of these non-aggressions that we have like a million of. We all start to dwindle away, and you can see that going up. You know, if the non-aggressions were set at like 50 and the alliances are like 75. We'd actually be kind of close with a few factions, uh, which would be awesome. Oh, I might also go to war with Stannis as well uh, and take... Yeah, we could actually... Ooh, very close to actually making an alliance with Stannis, uh, which would be cool. I mean, he doesn't really own much. He owns Crab Bay? Wait, what the hell is this? Crab Bay? It's a settlement. Oh, is it connected to the hole, maybe? Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, cool. Okay, cool. Let's just reform the army. I'm going to go recruit a bunch of Kingsguard and a bunch of Towns Watch. Uh, maybe we'll even do a tournament or two. I feel like I should not be competing in the tournament. Rather, I should be watching it. But hell, let's get stuck in. I'll be fighting all my companions here. So we'll see how they fare in this tournament. Um, I've also, of course, got the more tournament uh, uh, mod on, which gives us access to uh, all these awesome new designs and stuff. Right now, I got Ed on Sand fighting alongside me. So one of my King's Guard keeping me nice and safe. They are oh, holding me in place and you finish them off, Ed on. Perfect. Let's move over now and finish up the rest of the boys. Really cool maps, though. I'm a big fan of these. Here we go. We got Fazza and Zhao. Zhao is a witch doctor, so um, not someone we have to worry about too much. Push him over and then go help out over here. There we go. Nice. And you can see my stats are so good now as well. That my posture is just amazing. I don't have to really ever worry about it. And their posture will break way before mine. If not, mine is getting down. Vazor is taking a, a actually smashing right now. Yeah, he's not very good at taking that left strike. Okay, we've been falling down. Uh, but yeah, no damage. Bounced off my amazingly golden hair. The game knows I'm here to kill Tywin Lannister and it's actually given me a crossbow, uh, which is quite funny. But like, yeah, you should get some practice in for when you when you do eventually execute Tywin Lannister. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, I need, I definitely need the practice as well. In the rounds against Fazza every single every single time, I feel like the game just does not want me to uh does not want me to uh to fight uh, with him every time. So it looks like me and Edon Sand who have been fighting together the entire tournament. Are in the final. Here we go. Sword and shield. Uh, let's see if we can bring him down. Again, he is one of my king's guard, but he has to let me win, surely, right? Oh, already a good strike off into his helmet. The unsullied helmet looking great. Yeah, he, he goes to strike a little bit too early. I, I've got a thing or two to teach him. We'll shield bash him. I'll try and kick him, maybe. His posture is about to break. So let's do that. And then, yeah, there he goes on the ground. We get another strike in. And yeah, he struggles. He oh, God, I'm down now. Okay, luckily that did not do much damage. Okay, he's, he's one hit now. You can see his health bar in the top. 
Yeah, there you go. It's the, the right swing, and then he blocks that. I mean, he's just not fast enough on the left. So, I mean, to be expected, we all knew that was going to happen. GG. Easy. Uh, a nice little clean victory right there. Nice little tournament win to go ahead and show the realm that I am not just a pretty face. Okay, so the North have now declared war on us. I don't really know why Rob decided to, but uh, I mean, I don't think the, the, Rob didn't know really why he decided to. But hey, it's fine. We can basically, obviously, defeat his army at Dragonstone and then push up with some forces, take like Moat Caelan and Greywater Watch and maybe even White Harbor and um, the castles around here. It could be kind of fun to take. Um, and Rob doesn't really have that much because a lot of the rebellious houses have been put into the free house faction. So a lot of the, uh, the factions who actually went against Rob and betrayed him um, are actually yeah, not there. So we can actually move up, take like this portion of his territory and then get like the Mandalays on our side. Uh, and then we can use them extra forces to come down and deal with Tywin. Problem is we have like a lot of these factions, like these, like a lot of uh, these armies have like formed up and aren't doing anything with them. Um, I did also as well off camera, just make a few extra parties. So Faza and Roderick Hill are now both their own independent uh, lords as well. So they're leading their own armies, which is kind of cool to have. But yeah, let's go in and basically have our first battle against the uh, the scourge of Rob Stark. We haven't really run into the Northmen. I did actually just say as well how uh, how how Rob has not declared war on us at all, and now we're about to fight him for the first time, uh, which is going to be funny. So let's maybe let's do have like a skein formation. You guys are going to be our flanking force, and then we're going to have a main front line here, which is going to be a, a shield wall. Uh, yeah, you guys are in a shield wall. Our archers are back here, of course, and, and just a long formation. And our cavalry can just be here to like basically block for 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 that. I think. So let's do that. Uh, and then let's select, yeah, let's select our cavalry here to basically block. Our infantry block can move up more on the flank, and then you guys go there as well. Perfect. I think that is a, a good formation for us. Again, I remember the north, surprisingly, actually having a lot of cavalry whenever I played against them. Uh, okay, maybe not. You know, they're more infantry-based, which is fine. Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep this on the side. We will move our infantry up, like here. And then our archers up on this hill. And our cavalry uh, are just chilling. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we get a nice little glimpse of the... Uh, yeah, the north have a lot of horse archers, which is kind of a bit annoying. Yeah, not a very high-quality army. They have good bowmen. Yeah, these Mormon archers are decent. But that's really all I'm seeing. Uh, the actual infantry size is not that good. And look at the battle as well. It looks awesome as they push up. Very, very cool. But yeah, not a high-quality army here by the Northmen. This army is going to get absolutely torn apart, especially as we have our infantry block ready to move around. Uh, let's... Let's uh, yeah, leave the archers there. Select the, uh, the cavalry. Cavalry just go after these blocks. Why not? I wish there was a wish. I wish there was a way to press like Alt and actually just select units as well. I think that'd be re a really cool way of like dynamically moving soldiers um, and just like, being able to select them. I think that'd be really really cool. Okay, so we can start moving in this block here as well. The archers should be doing a great job there. So many throwing axes, but our shield wall should be good. And the main goal is just to have this formation hold whilst the, the flanking force comes in and decimates them. Of course, their cavalry is going to be annoying. But yeah, look at that. And we can also go after their archers, but I think I, what we're actually going to do is just send our cavalry after that. Yeah, the cavalry should be moving now. And then, yeah, we got our big block of infantry over here making their way in. Slowly but surely. For, for an aggressive formation, this is very slow. And you can see some of the Baratheon soldiers as well. With their big old warhammers on their back. Okay, yeah, you guys should be arriving now. Not in as good of a formation as I would have liked for you guys to be in. But still fine, nonetheless. And you guys can charge now. Cavalry's doing an okay job against the archers. Enemy captain has now fallen. We're in the... Uh, oh, yeah, I also forgot as well. I also equipped myself with ice. So we are now we are now wielding the ancestral sword of the Northmen. Hey, maybe that's why they declared war on me. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I want to just try and slice someone's head off. Oh, my God, I missed. This sword is so unwieldy to, to use. You're obviously a friendly unit. Let's move up to the archers and let's just slice them in half. 
Oh, I've got his sword is so big. But it's actually hard to, to bring down. The arc of his the slice is just way too brutal. Let's see if we just dismount. Okay, yeah. Oh, does he go through people, I wonder? I wonder if I'm going to hit multiple people with one swing with his weapon. God, imagine blocking this weapon as well. I mean, obviously not that Daenerys would be able to swing this, but hey, we're, we're, we're in a fancy universe, so why not? An absolute massacre. I mean, we still lost 400 men, but definitely a worthy thing to, to smash this army. And now we've captured a few of the Northmen as well. Oh, Robert Glover. Interesting. Lord Flint. Uh, so some pretty prominent lords right there. The annoying thing is, though, we don't really have the army to uh, to actually head north. I mean, I'm going to, but a lot of this force isn't very good. We might need to break up one of the other parties so that we can, uh, in turn, recruit some better soldiers. Because, yeah, I have, I, I mean, I have a uh, man from Valerian in here, which is good. I have Sifus' party in here, but a few randos as well. I mean, I guess Dario isn't a random, but I have a few kind of smaller parties as well, which is, of course, not going to be strong enough to, to really deal with. I need uh, maybe these parties to build up a little bit more but i definitely do want to head north oh my god they're sieging king's landing now as well can we recruit anybody else to this army um it doesn't look like everybody's already in a force okay we can get these guys now that's going to boost our numbers to like 800 and what is everybody else doing we have yeah we have sabaris and selmy in the south and this army's come back to take this again, or at least attempt to. So hopefully Sebariston takes the army northwards. That'd be perfect. There is a mod out there. I always keep like trying to remember to get it, and I never do. It's really a, a big fault of mine. Um, there's a mod out there, though, that actually allows you to command your armies and tell them where. Oh my god, they took King's Landing from me. <laughs> that is such a joke. Oh my god, it's actually a scary army as well. 1,500 Northmen. God damn, the North remembers. The North remembers. Okay, okay. We got some business to do then. So what I'm going to do is we're going to end the episode right here uh, and leave this big battle for next episode. I'm going to do this now, just so we remember. I'm going to take the armies. I'm going to disband some Barristans because it's just annoying that he has it and I can't command him. If I could tell him to follow me or something, uh, that would be good, but he's not going to. Then I'm going to bring up the largest army we have ever seen. Not that we actually have that much influence. But yeah, we're going to drag everybody to our banners. We're going to fight this huge battle against the North. I'll take King's Landing back. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to basically just go up North, I think. Uh, take the two castles guarding the North. Take White Harbor, Old Castle, Ramsgate. Then probably peace out with the North. And then we then refocus on the Lannisters. Burn Lannisport and Castle Rock to the ground. And then we go northward. So there's probably about two to three more episodes left in this series, I think. Um, and if you are, of course, enjoying this series, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does help out and goes a long, long way. The last episode got 27,000 views of the time recording this, which is just wild for, a, you know, an episode um, that's already kind of into its, in, uh, you know, kind of quite far it's past its peak. So I really appreciate that. And that's down to all the likes and comments we've been getting on this. Um, it's definitely made me realize that you guys do want to see more edited let's plays when they're interesting like this so that's definitely something i'm going to do more of in the future so again if you want to see more of this drop a like drop a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one